Welcome back everyone. Today I will recap episodes 1 and 2 of the 2023 Indonesian horror TV series named Blood Curse. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see an injured man named Bondin come to the terrace. His son Essa also comes there after him, but Bondin tells him not to come near him. Essa tries to calm him down and asks him to give him the knife. Bondin says he is tired of this and he can't stand it anymore. Suddenly something begins happening to him and his eye begin to pop out. He says this is his only way out and then he stabs his eye with the knife, seeing which Essa gets terrified. Two days earlier, we see Bondin at his house and Essa talking to a doctor that his dad's head keeps throbbing. He gave him ibuprofen and also paracetamol, but nothing seemed to work. Bondin asks him why is his headache getting worse, and asks him to check his eye. Essa checks it and tells him that there is nothing there, and Bondin says it's like something is moving inside his head. Essa says he was also like this when his cholesterol level spiked, to which he says this time it feels different. Essa asks him if his pain is bearable, because the doctor isn't available now, and he will come as soon as he can. Now after Essa leaves, we see something crawling inside Bondin's head. On the other hand, we see Woolen sleeping in her room, who wakes up hearing some noise from the top of the house, but she ignores it. Later, we see her with her dad Ahmad and her mother Astuti, who asks her does she hear a thud last night, to which she says she did. Only then Woolen's brother Wisnu also comes there and tells them that some noise woke him up and he couldn't go back to sleep. Their maid Ipa then comes there with a parcel for Astuti, who asks her to put it in the living room. Wisnu notices maggots on Woolen's toast, and they get shocked to see it. Astuti then notices a stain on the ceiling above them, and when they get it checked by their new gardener Haran, he finds a huge dead sibut rotting there. He brings it down, seeing that they all get disgusted, and asks him to throw it away. Meanwhile, the doctor checks Bonten's eye, and tells him that he can't do anything if he chooses to stay at home. He suggests him to go to the hospital, but Bondin refuses and asks him to leave. Here Woolen gets a call from an unknown number, but no one speaks from the other side and she only hears someone breathing which she gets a bit worried. Later, in the parking lot, she senses someone is following her, but when she looks back, there is no one there. Now when she starts walking, she hears footsteps again, fearing that she enters her car straight away, and she still doesn't see anyone in the parking lot. Only then she gets a call from Reno, who tells her that his dad is in hospital after finding that she cancelled their wedding. Now when she returns home, her dad tells her that she can't go on feeling guilty like this. He, her mother, and her brother were definitely affected by the decision she made, but they as a family will support her. On the other hand, Bondin's headache worsens and he notices something crawling under his skin. He calls out Essa saying his eyes hurt so much, who tries to calm him down and make him sit. He goes out to call the doctor, and during this, Bondin's eyes begin bleeding and he starts screaming in pain. Essa takes him to the hospital, where the doctor checks him and asks him how long has it been like this. Meanwhile, Woolen is taking a shower, when suddenly the water shuts off, and when she goes out, maggots begin falling there. After this, she goes to Wisnu where they are planning for their parents' birthday when they overhear their dad talking to someone on the phone, that he is not responsible for her endless debts. We then see Wisnu and his dad playing video game, and Woolen is preparing to make dinner, but she gets shocked seeing that the lamb chops are rotting and covered with maggots. She tells them that the chops are off and wonder how did maggots get in there, and when she leaves there, we see a stain appearing on the ceiling again. Later, Wisnu says it seems someone dispatched it. He tells them it has happened to his friend Rika. One night, everyone in her house heard a loud bang. The next day her dad got paralyzed and mucus came out of his legs, and when they took him to the doctor, they could not find the cause of the illness and he died not long after that. They all don't take him seriously and Ahmed tells him that there is no such thing as black magic and that her dad died because of the illness. Astuti says that she remembers when she was little, back in her village, maggots are always associated with black magic. She doesn't know if black magic exists or not as she has not seen it herself and she hopes she never will. After this, they all start joking and Ahmed takes a selfie and then suddenly a bird crashes into the window. They ask Ipa to check it, and she tells them that it's a bat, and Ahmed jokingly says that the bat must be drunk and crashed into the window. On the other hand, the doctor thinks that it is an infection that is getting better now, and he leaves there asking Bandon to keep taking antibiotics. After he leaves, Bondon tells Essa that he is trying to live a good life as best as he can. He worked good jobs and raised him to be a good man. But no matter what he did, it wasn't enough to escape this whole thing. Essa asks him not to think too much and take rest and he will recover soon. He then leaves there saying he needs to get some fresh clothes from home. Back at Woolen's house, Ahmed gets a call from Bondin, and he leaves there to attend to the call. He goes to his car to talk to him, and Bondin tells him that he is sick, and he is pretty sure it's because of a black magic spell. 
he asks him to watch out, do his prayers, and ask for mercy as he doesn't think they have long to live. Ahmad asks him to take a rest and he will visit him when he can. Bondin says he just wants to warn him, but Ahmad interrupts him saying he has to get back to his family and disconnects the call. Only then does he notice maggots crawling on his hand due to which he gets terrified and falls out of the car. A part of the ceiling then falls on him, and when he gets up, he finds maggots on the floor and there is a hole in the ceiling. Later that night, Bondin begins suffocating, and suddenly centipedes come out of his nose and enter his mouth, and then they begin crawling inside his skin. Suffering from pain, Bondin comes to the roof of the hospital and Essa follows him there, but Bondin tells him to stay away from him. Essa tries to calm him down and asks him to give the knife to him, to which Bondin says he is tired of this. He says it's everywhere and he can't do this anymore. All of a sudden he gets a headache and one of his eyes pops out, and saying that maybe this is his only way out, he stabs his eye with a knife and gouges it out and then he falls down from the roof. Now the movie shifts to one year earlier, where the anniversary of Ahmad and Astuti is being celebrated. Their friends Rafi and Rahima congratulate them, and Astuti tells them that here they are also celebrating Wulan's first job at Investa Prima. Now here Reno also proposes to Wulan for marriage, due to which she becomes quite embarrassed and accepts the proposal under pressure. Later, she tells her dad that she just can't believe that this morning she finally got the job she has always wanted, and tonight she has to face the fact that she will be a housewife. Ahmed tells her to calm herself and take her time, and soon she will find out what her heart truly wants. Back to the present, Wulan is washing her face, and suddenly dirty water starts coming out from the tap. She then gets shocked to see a strand of hair wrapped around her ring finger, which she immediately throws away. She finds that it's coming out from the wash basin, and when she pulls it out, she gets shocked to see a few nails attached to it. The scene shifts to Bondin's funeral, where a woman tells a man that they say Bondin was cursed by black magic. After the funeral, Essa comes to Bondin's room and starts crying remembering him, and when he checks his phone, he finds Ahmad's text on it that he is starting to experience things too. Meanwhile, Woolen tells her servant to check the water tank, because while washing her face, she found this hair and nails, which she thinks was residue from the renovation work. Later, Ahmad disconnects Rima's call, and Wisnu asks him why does Aunt Rima keep asking him for money. Ahmad says it's not a matter of why she does it, what he doesn't like is that it's never enough for her. Haran then comes there, and Astuti tells him that she plans to decorate the backyard for the anniversary party. Wisnu asks her why she is trusting him, to which she tells him they have to support a new guy to get him motivated. Only then Woolen gets a notification that Uncle Rafi died, and they all get shocked to hear this. Later, they all visit to Rafi's funeral to console his wife Rahima, but Reno is angrily looking at Wulan, and then Rahima also angrily asks them how dare they show up there. She blames them for this and says she hopes all of them suffer. We then come to know that Rafi had a heart condition, which is why Ahmed called off his plan to do business with him. Ahmed then gets a call from Essa, who informs him that his father passed away the other night. He asks him to meet if he has time, as there is something he would like to talk about with him. Ahmad says he is driving right now and will talk to him later and then he disconnects the call. The next day when Wulan is in the office and discussing some work with her senior auto, her colleague tells her that her family is waiting for her downstairs. Now when she comes out, she gets shocked to see Rima there and Rima asks her if could they talk. She says she knows she should not have come here, but her father gave her no other choice. She asks her why he is ignoring her calls. Wulan asks her why she came to her, because it's between her and dad, to which she says he stopped sending her the money she deserve. She says she is a successful woman and works in a nice office like this, and later she could ask her father to pay her back. Wulan says this is not her business, and as far as she knows, dad has fulfilled all his responsibilities to her. Rima gets furious and says no matter how much money Ahmad gives her, it won't be enough to make up for his mistake of divorcing her. Wulan asks her to leave and not to disturb her again at her work. That evening, Wulan tells Astuti that Rima came to her office, to which Astuti says she doesn't mind sending her more money, as no matter what, she is still Ahmad's ex-wife, and she doesn't think he wants to give her more than what was agreed upon. Wulan then goes to Ahmad's room to talk to him, but finds him sleeping, and only then a notification pops out on his phone. This is the text of Essa asking him when they can meet, as it's about his father's death. Later, Wulan checks Essa's Instagram profile, and suddenly maggots fall on her phone which scares her, and she finds a stain over her on the ceiling. Now late at night, she wakes up hearing a thud sound from the top of the house, and when she goes to check on her dad, she finds that he is not in his room, and the thud sound starts again, and suddenly Ahmad appears there from behind her. He says he woke up and felt hungry, so he went down and got some of her pasta. The next day, Woolen's client Liliana asks her if is she going through something. She is only saying this because she can feel her aura, and it feels negative. She suggests whatever she is going through right now, just surrender. It is the first step to changing something negative into positive. Woolen says there is nothing wrong, and thanks her for her concern. 
Meanwhile, Wisnu returns home from school, and Astuti shows him the decoration and tells him that Haran plays a big role in the decor. Wisnu then leaves there to take a shower and Ippa comes there with the therapist Yuli, and during this, we see a wasp come there flying. Later, during therapy, Astuti finds that wasp in her room, and suddenly Yuli starts massaging her very hard. Only then Yuli enters the room and Astuti gets shocked to see her. She asks her where was she, to which she says she was in the bathroom, and during this, we see something crawling inside Astuti's skin. She asks Yuli to continue the massage, and soon after, she gets terrified seeing a swarm of wasps on the floor, due to which both Astuti and Yuli get hurt and Yuli's nose starts bleeding. On the other hand, Reno angrily comes to Wulen and asks her if she is happy now. He blames her for his father's death and tries to open the door, but Wulen manages to drive away from there. Meanwhile, Esser returns home, and he smells something off in the house. While he is checking the source of the smell, he notices that it's coming from under a carpet, and when he removes it, he finds maggots crawling under it. He takes out the wooden flooring, and finds a cloth buried under it and it smells rotten. Here when Wulen returns home, she notices her dad looking for something. He asks Wisnu if has he seen his watch that he wears every day. Wulen says it must have slipped, but Wisnu tries to accuse Haran. Later, we see Wisnu taking a pill, and then he finds many wasps appearing on the photo frame, due to which he gets scared and throws it, causing it to break. Later, Wisnu presents that gift to their mom and dad, and tells them that he accidentally dropped it and the glass broke. Astuti opens the gift, and they both like it very much. Meanwhile, Essa takes out that piece of cloth and opens it, and gets shocked to see a rotting animal head in it. Here, suddenly Ahmad begins choking, and there is severe pain in his stomach. They all panic seeing this, and when Ippa brings water, Ahmed spits blood on her. They don't understand anything and they start taking him to the hospital, and as soon as they leave, the flowers on the table begin to wither and Ippa notices that Ahmed has spit some nails with blood. Please comment down if you guys want the next parts of the series, and don't forget to like and subscribe.